What I want you guys to know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike, back again today with the new MacBook Pro. Uh, this is the 14 inch, 16 gigs of RAM M1 Pro. It's not the Pro Max, it's not all of that. This is the one I got, picked it up from Best Buy. This joint is out. Uh, it is, you know the specs, if you've been watching it, uh, it's, they brought back the MagSafe, they put the ports back here, they, you know, put your HDMI back over here, uh, you got the SD card slot, I would say that this thing is a thick boy, it is thick, this is basically almost like the size of the 2015 MacBook Pro, uh, it has, it's, it's thicker than uh, my Intel based uh, non M1 old MacBook Pro, I think it's like a 2017, 2018, uh, that same generation of MacBook. It is thicker, of course, as you can see, than that one. So it's, it's cool. It's got all the power, 10 core processor. It's a monster, 16 gigs of RAM. You know, this thing is going to like scream when it comes to processing and all of that things like that. But the question that you're here to figure out is, is this for me? Is this something I need to buy right now? And I'm going to tell you quite emphatically, no, do not buy this right now. And I'm going to tell you why. If you're a musician, if you're a producer, if you're an engineer, if you're uh, even if you're a video, video editor and things like that, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But more so, I want to focus on my creatives, my producers, musicians, uh, engineers and the like that are itching to buy something new right now. You're looking at this and you're saying, uh, man, I wanna get that new MacBook Pro, the power, all of that stuff like that. It's not ready for prime time yet because of one thing. This one thing is keeping it from being ready. And that is Mac OS Monterey, boys and girls, Monterey. This is the new operating system from Apple and it comes stock on every, every new MacBook Pro uh, with the M1 Pro, the M1 Max, and all of that. And here is the caveat, boys and girls. You cannot downgrade to anything below what the what came on the particular machine. So you cannot downgrade this to Big Sur or Catalina or uh, Matt, you know Mojave or any of those things like that. What came on here is what's stuck on here. And right now, Mac OS Monterey is not compatible with uh, a lot of our software's third-party plugins and things of that nature. You can check a video that I did, is down in the description, up in the cards, um, where I talk about why you shouldn't, if you're already on another Mac system, why you shouldn't upgrade to Mac OS Monterey. It's just not ready yet. Like Big Sur, I just installed Big Sur on like my iMac and my Mac Mini, uh, and everything is running decently well, but there's still some programs and some plugins and some interfaces and things that just aren't working even on Big Sur. Nonetheless, trying that they work on Monterey. So for instance, I'm a Studio One user. I use Studio One. That's my primary DAW for mixing and doing all of the like. I also use Logic for production, but Studio One is the thing that I'm in all day, every day. Studio One does have a native version for M1, but guess what? Uh, a lot of the plugins still aren't compatible. The third party stuff that I use, like Slate stuff, when I try to pull those up on my M1 uh, Mac, they're not doing what they're supposed to do. It has to run under uh, Rosetta. And the thing about it running under Rosetta is this, there's a lag, there's uh, all kinds of issues and bugs with Studio One running under Rosetta. And uh, I got a video specific, a direct video that I'm dropping on that that you wanna wanna pay attention to, but it's not ready. This is the thing, and I've said this in several other videos, is that uh, the uh, MacBooks, the M1, all of those things are not ready just yet for full-on prime time. If you're coming from an Intel system, it's just not going to be uh, the, the, the best system for you to upgrade to because you're going to lose, uh, probably lose a lot of functionality. 32-bit plugins, if you're a 32-bit plugin user, if you're still rocking like the Waves, the Crack versions, shout out to all you Crack heads out there that are still running that stuff. Uh, if you're still doing that, you're going to lose all your plugins. Plus, if you're a regular user, you know, a guy that, you know, just you're not, you're not using Crack or anything like that, and you need to upgrade to, um, you know, you know, Big Sur or even Monterey, and you need to upgrade like your Waves plugins, that's extra upgrade money you're going to have to pay. Got to pay that full 250 bucks 
in order to upgrade all your plugins. You're going to have to do all of that stuff like that. So uh, you have to think about those things before you just run out and grab the best, the, the brand new best computer that's on the market uh, because you're going to be stuck. Yes, you can open up like Logic on here. And you can use stock plugins and you can do all those things like that and it works just fine. But if you're using any of these like third party things, like check this out, Ableton is not compatible, it's not supported. This is as of 1021, uh, all of that. These plugins are not in Tari's, you know, they haven't made statements. If a company has not made a statement about whether or not it is compatible with the latest OS, you don't need to upgrade. That's just good practice. I talk about this all the time. The link to this, by the way, the link to this um, this this article uh, that from Pro Tools Expert is down in uh, the description of this video. You can go down there and click and see if your plugins. But but right now, all of these plugins, the answers are you can see it all here on the left side, on the right side. No, 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 no. Yeah, maybe if you use uh even tide you even tide use a shout out to y'all y'all can do that uh but everybody else is giving you like a no all right link studios wow they're 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 good but everybody else is like on a solid no and there's the other thing your your interfaces uh that uh you use a lot of these interfaces yes they will be cat class compliant and they will work if you plug them up and you can get audio in them but a lot of these have like um, third party like mix control softwares and things like that. Like my Focusrite interface has a uh, mix control software that comes with it. And I have it on my connected to my iMac. And whenever I try to open up the mix control because I'm on the M1, even though my interface is connected, it says that no hardware is detected. And it usually takes a combination of restarting and doing all of those different things to get it to work. But it's very finicky. So you have to keep that in mind for those of you who uh, are looking to get into the M1 world, looking to get these new things. Uh, it's just, it's not ready yet. So let me tell you this, it's going to take at least a good um, uh, six to seven months before everything is fully compatible. You're talking about your Omnispheres, your Spectrasonics, your Abletons, your Pro Tools, all of that stuff is going to be compatible and it's going to take this time. We do this cat and mouse game every year with Apple. By the time everything becomes compatible, they've released a brand new operating system on us. And there's still not stuff that's compatible with Big Sur. And a lot of it, you can say it's on the developers, but Apple, uh, they change their operating system every freaking year. So imagine what you what you have to do and to ensure that you get all the bugs out. And by the time you get all the bugs out and you get everything ready, they've they've changed their code base again and you got to start all over. So it's a cat and mouse game. I don't blame the developers. I don't blame Apple totally. It's just the way that our ecosystem is for producers. And so uh, if you're the type of guy that you need a new computer right now, like you need it right now, your old computer is busted, I suggest, and you just got to have it right, 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 right now. Uh, I would say get the regular M1, but you chance that you play a mouse and a cat and mouse game. You, if it comes with Big Sur on it, you're probably going to be cool. But if you buy an M1 Mac Mini or a MacBook, uh, not MacBook Pro, but just regular MacBook, you run the chance of it coming with Monterey on it. And if it comes with Monterey on it, you're not going to be able to change it. So there may be a handful of um, you know Mac Minis and MacBooks and stuff that are still rolling around their M1 versions that are running Big Sur, take those. Otherwise, you need to jump into the used market and probably find you something used. It's going to be a little bit cheaper, but it's also going to be uh, in, a, in a much more usable state for you to be able to, to really get work done. So the M1 MacBook Pro, uh, as of November of 2021, is not ready for prime time. And if you buy it right now as a producer, as an engineer, as a musician, it's trash. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope this video blessed you. I hope that helped you. I hope that helped you save a lot of money uh, and just wait, exercise your patience because within six to seven months, this thing is probably gonna come out the trash and it's gonna be a monster. So that's it. You know what we do. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it um, and all those good things that you do on the video. Uh, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I'm out. Holla, boy.